In the last video, we understood how to get all the standard hierarchies, the cost center hierarchies or the profit center hierarchies in tables so that we can call those tables in any programs. In this video, we will understand how we need to do the configuration for populating the standard hierarchy values in these tables. As we saw earlier, by default, these standard tables will be not having any values unless until we execute the transaction code HTBC. So in this video, we will understand how to execute this transaction and what all different activities do we need to do to keep these tables updated. So before we go into the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. And also, we are starting a new online training batch on project systems. So please do not forget to register. We are having an early bird discount of 15% flat on the course fee if you have registered before 10th of November. And if you are a premium member of this channel, you always get the additional advantage of 15% flat irrespective of when you register on the course. And do not miss this chance. This is an extensive training on project systems which covers end-to-end -end topics and is applicable for beginners till advanced learners. If you are looking for any niche skill on the top of SAP FICO, if you want to learn project systems which is closely integrated with finance, then this is the best opportunity for you and this is a 70 hour plus extensive training which is being taken by us. So go ahead and the link of registration is given in the description. Explore it, find out all the details and do register right now. If you have any questions, then you can drop an email. The email address is also mentioned in the registration form. You can also scan the QR code on the screen to directly access the registration form. And as usual, I need not say that you have an option of joining the channel to contribute our work and become a premium member of the channel and get access to many wonderful playlists like end to end Copa and many other member specific videos and also discount coupons for the Udemy courses. So click the join now. And if you want to do a one time contribution, you have an option of thanks so that you can do a one-time contribution for our work. So let us jump into the video. So first let us enter the transaction code HTBC. And this is an SAP accelerator transaction code. So here we have this hierarchies. Click on hierarchies and we can see all the different hierarchies that are supported by SAP. So we have cost center groups, which is our standard cost center hierarchy. We have profit center hierarchies and GL account groups, cost element groups and order groups. So if we want to populate cost center hierarchies, so let us click on cost center hierarchies and click on this plus button. Now the system will display all the controlling areas which are created in the SAP system. So we need to select our controlling area. For example, this is my controlling area and edit this and click on new entries. Here just press F4 and the system will display the standard cost center hierarchy that is created. If you are looking this for profit center groups, then the system will display the standard profit center hierarchy that is assigned to this controlling area. So let us select this. The system automatically had populated the description. Now just select this option six, which is load and activate and save it. Now go back. Now once again, let us go back by saving it. Now it will just ask perform all plan actions. Just click background. The system will populate the standard hierarchy in this custom set, the SAT HANA0101, which we have seen earlier. Now let us go back to SE16N. And this is the set for cost center hierarchies. Now let us give the organization unit as 0MMH and execute it. So now we see the values populated for this standard hierarchy. So earlier this table was blank because we did not run the transaction code HDPC. And now after we ran the transaction code, the system had populated the values from the standard hierarchy into this table. But there is a tricky point here. So let us once go to our cost center standard hierarchy. I'll go to OKUN. So before we go into the tricky part, let us first understand the output. The output looks very much same as what we have discussed for profit center hierarchy in the previous video. See here, it is the standard hierarchy 0mm CCSH. The same thing is visible here. And under that, we have one more group EV and 
Under this main hierarchy, we're having different cost centers, which are directly visible here. And none of those cost centers are available for the node minus two. So if you see here, none of these are available for minus two. Everything is assigned to minus one, which is my main cost center group, which is the standard hierarchy itself. So that is the logic of the output. But the tricky part here is when we are trying to create the standard hierarchy in HDBC transaction code, the system will not show this standard hierarchy if there is no at least one cost center group or profit center group that is created in this one. So if we are just having the standard hierarchy and if we are just having this cost centers assigned to the standard hierarchy, then you will not find this in the HDBC transaction code. The reason being, if you go back to HDBC, the system does not call it as standard hierarchy, but the system call it as cost center groups. So in Okeon, this is my standard hierarchy, but this is the actual group. So unless until there is at least one cost center group created, the system will not show this hierarchy in HDBC. This should not be a problem in the real projects because there will be at least one cost center group that is created under the standard hierarchy. So that should not be a problem. But yes, if you are not able to find this, then please check whether it, there is at least one cost center group or profit center group assigned to the standard hierarchy. Otherwise, it is not going to show. This problem should not be there for account groups or cost element groups because there we don't have anything called as a standard hierarchy, but everything is created as account groups or cost element groups or order groups. Now, I am creating one more cost center here. So let us create a cost center here. So under this EV, I am creating one cost center. I'll mark it as EVCC. And let us enter the profit center and save it. So now I have changed the standard hierarchy after populating these values in the set. Now let us go back to SC16N and let us refresh and see whether this newly created profit center EV is visible here or not. So at this point, we don't have any profit center with the name EV. So let us refresh this. We don't find it. The reason is these tables are not real time tables as we have discussed in the previous video. These are just tables which are holding the values only when HDBC transaction code is executed. So whenever there is a change in the standard hierarchy, we need to again refresh these tables and that can be done by using the transaction code SET HANA underscore activator. So this transaction code, all you need to do is select the set. The set is whether it is a cost center group or a profit center group, etc. So now we want to do this as cost center groups and give the subclass as your controlling area and the hierarchy name, you can give it or leave it blank. But if you can just select it, the system will show the cost center standard hierarchy and just check if it is up to date and enable this repair checkbox. Now here we have different options. So under global actions, let us select this load and activate and select update run and execute it. Now let us go back to the table and we'll refresh this. And now we see this newly created cost center EVCC, which is assigned to the node minus two, which is this cost center group EV. So every time we want to call this standard hierarchy in any of the ABAP programs, it is recommended to execute this at HANA underscore activator transaction code. And in fact, this transaction code can also be set as a background job. You can always select F9 and you can select it as a recurring batch job so that every day or every one hour or two hours, we can have these tables updated. As and when there is a change happened in the standard hierarchy, then automatically or immediately, those changes will be populated in this tables. So whenever we call these tables in the ABAP programs, it will always have the details up to date. So I hope you found this video useful and whenever you are creating any ABAP programs, now you know how to call the standard hierarchies in the ABAP programs without the need to go on to the standard sets and find out the data which is not available in a single source. See you in the next video.
and do not forget to register yourself for the project systems course on SAP S4 HANA. Get an early bird discount of 15% flat on the course fee by registering before November 10th. And if you are a premium member of the channel, you always get 15% flat off on the course fee. Scan the QR code on the screen to access the registration form or the link is also given in the description below. See you in the next video. Take care.